Oh, hello there. Another enthusiast, I presume. How good it is to see a fresh face here at the inventory. I imagine you're here for the card game with the fellows downstairs. Let me lead you down there. A first timer, hmm? I'm a bit more familiar with the uh, benefactions of the club. The club was founded in 1919 in response to an early draft of the 18th Amendment. Through back channels, it was learned that this vile piece of legislation would not only outlaw libations, but games and amusements that could also threaten the world-renowned determination and productivity of the American workforce. Ha! Ah, can you imagine? Games outlawed! Nevertheless, this club has been here in secret ever since, just in case those in charge get another bee in their bonnet. Mm. So welcome, and enjoy yourself. Ah, your table. Ahem, gentlemen. I hope there is room at the table for a fifth. Ha! <laughs> Fresh meat! Tonight's stakes will be $10,000. Oh, just because you're the manager, you get to make the rules? Manager? <laughs> no, I am not under the employ of the inventory. I just see to it that everybody has a good time. That will be 10000 I hope each of you brought your billfolds. Here you go! Jump change, I say! Jump change! The die has been cast. The game will be No Limit Texas Hold'em. I will periodically raise the blinds. May the best player win. Call. Oh. I am in and ready to crush baby men. I'm calling. Baby bet. I'll call. I'm gonna call. I'll call. This is not much. Calling. it up. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. You should call me. I'm back it all! Yabble son, seize him! I'm calling. Okay, I call. I'm calling. You must find strength to call. The player has a full house. Max has three of a kind. Strong Bad has three of a kind. Heiko has three of a kind. The Heavy has three of a kind. The player wins the hand. Ooh! The player wins the tournament! Walk away, Strong Bad. Walk away. Don't lose it! <laughs>
Good luck, human. Good game. Let's do it again sometime. Oh, hey, it's you. All right. Come on, I'll lead you in. Name's Samson. Brock Samson. This friggin' place is like a maze. Ah, Mr. Samson, I'd lost track of you for a moment. <gasps> And you've brought the player! Splendid! On behalf of everyone at the inventory, I cannot begin to express our unbridled elation to see you return for another night of high-stakes poker! Yeah, speaking of high stakes, things may have gotten stabby over in the mumbly peg room. Mr. Samson, I once again remind you that the inventory is not your personal abattoir. Yeah, yeah, send the cleaning bill to Venture Industries. The last time. Ah, as always, I am Commodore Reginald Van Winslow, retired, and I will hey, be your host things. for tonight's perilous on voyage on the seas of chance. <laughs> Thanks, man. Hey, Reggie, these new chairs are great. It's like my keister is being held aloft by the wings of tiny velvet angels. Let me try, Sam. I'm afraid there's no room at the table for your plus one, Sam. That's okay. Max will make his own fun. Come out with your arms akimbo, Mendoza! So when do we get this clam back on the road? In a few minutes. We're still waiting for... Hello! Hello, future losers! Our remaining contestants. But seriously, whose HDMI for do I have to kiss to get a drink around here? I really love what you've done with the place. Very, uh, Boardwalk Empire meets Silence of the Lambs. As I was saying, your Can we get going? Steve and I have a tea time at Spyglass. Uh, I suppose we should. I'd hoped our final contestant would be here by now. But it appears that we'll be one short tonight. Deal me in. Everything seems to be in order. The chips are stacked. The deck is shuffled. Let the tournament begin! Gentlemen, I leave you to the tender mercies of GLaDOS. Good evening. Great. What the oh, hell, Wayne? Hubba, hubba! This completes the first test of the contestants' poker faces. The bad news is you all failed miserably. The good news is you appear to be evenly matched. Tonight's tournaments have a $20,000 buy-in. Let's make this quick. I have experiments to supervise. Hmm. Okay, raise. Nope. Ah, well, oh, poison nuggets. I buy a lot of Bowie knives. Oh. I think you should know that the Claptrap General Purpose Robot is designed to be completely immune to outrageous bluffing. I fall! Nah. 
The player steals the blinds. I could brazenly bluff my way through this hand, but since I just said that out loud, I think I'll fold instead. Back. Have you been merchandised yet, Claptrap? Have I been merchandised? Bubbler! My image is plastered on so much crap that even I'm getting sick of it! Coffee mugs, t-shirts, feminine hygiene products, and that's not even counting the 43 different action figures! Action figures? Oh, yeah. You want one? Yeah. Well, not for me, of course. It's for my, uh, friend, Max. Don't go dragging me into your arrested adolescence. Tell you what. Meet me behind the inventory after the tournament, and I'll set your friend up with a rare mid-conditioned worm-dancing claptrap. Yes! I mean, I'm sure Max will be very happy. Ah, no mercy. Okay, Claptrap, keep it cool. Don't stare at the money, or it'll think you're a creep. Not this time. The player takes the pot. Ah, hell, oh, really? like it. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll just keep folding until something better comes along. I think you should know that the Claptrap General Purpose Robot is designed to be completely immune to outrageous bluffing. Nope. I'll fold. Oh, Sam. Think of all the ham dingers we could buy with that! <sighs> Shh, I'm thinking. Max would love these last few hands. But then again, Max also loves poking himself in the eye with a stick. Hey, Sam! I think I've hit brain! The player steals the blinds. Aw, oh, dang. I just caught myself thinking about thinking again. Oh, metacognition spirals. Nasty. Is that where you keep staring at your hands while your internal volume is cranked up to 11? That sounds more like a stroke. Walk into the light! Whoops, I guess it was just gas. I'll check. Check. Checko. What's that? Call. Sometimes an investigation leads to a dead end. And like most dead ends, this one's full of garbage and sleeping hobos. Impressive. Ooh. Great day in the morning. Nice. I'd buy a lot of Bowie knives. Yea, I say unto thee, they that sow the wind shall reap the mother-loving whirlwind. Who dug it? That's a lot of smiles. Nah. You freaking kidding me? Roxamson has a pair of tens, and our silent friend has a pair of aces. The player wins the hand. Nice job keeping victory squarely in the jaw of victory. Brock Samson has been eliminated. A oh, son of a bitch. You guys are smarter than you look. Wild Deadites couldn't keep me out of this party. I fold. Ooh, 
Impressive! What's going on with the toaster? His audio output is caught in a loop. It happens sometimes with low-cost sound cards. Should I do anything? A swift blow to the head wouldn't help. But it probably wouldn't help either. Aw, oh, jeez. Yeah, I'll call. <laughs> hmm. Literally nothing bad can happen if I call. Nothing! Yeah, I'm in. What now? Ah, hell. Damn, G. Look at all that cheddar. I'm giddy with anticipation about this call. Hmm, I don't know. Fold. Ah, skag flap! Mr. Trap has ace high, and the player has a pair of aces. The player wins. What's this emotion I'm feeling? It's like, I wish I had those cards, but I also hate you for having them. That's envy, you emotionally stunted rhomboid. And now I'm learning arousal. The robot from Pandora is out of chips. Okay, guess that's it. I'm dead. Where's the regeneration tunnel? We don't do that here. But I can make a whooshing noise if that will make you feel better. Crap. These lines are turned off the players of your office school. Let's bump them up to 600 and 1200. Whoa! Great day in the morning! Who dug it? That's a lot of simoleons. I'll fold. Don't be scared by the chips. Don't be scared by the chips. Wait a minute. This run of crummy cards is just one of your twisted little experiments, isn't it? Maybe. Or maybe you're just too cowardly to turn lemons into lemons. The player steals the blinds. So, Sam, why don't you take off your jacket? Two reasons. First of all, I paid a team of highly skilled artisans a metric butt-ton of money for this new suit. So I'm gonna show it off like a trophy wife at a back-to-school night. And the second reason? Underneath this jacket, I'm sweating like a fat guy in a walk-in humidor. Ugh, thanks for sharing that. Seriously, my pits are so swampy, there are probably manatees swimming around in there. Check it out. Oh. So anyway, I'm keeping it on. The player takes the pot.
platform. I'm all in. A oh, fuzz nugget. Looks like this sucker could go either way. I had a girlfriend like that once. Son of a... Damn. Ash has a pair of fours, and our silent friend has two pair. The player wins the hand. You know what they say, lucky in cards. Unlucky in love. Oh wait, that's a bad thing, isn't it? Ash has been eliminated from the tournament. Well then, guess it's time to slam down a few beers and dream up an excuse for losing all that money. Is that a big bet? I've kind of lost track. Fold. The player takes the pot. I think I'll call. since rocking the boat now. Uh, Is that a good idea? Because honestly, I don't really know what I'm doing. Sam has a full house. Sam wins the hand. Wait, was that a pity win? I enjoy these little games. I enjoy them even more when they're bigger. The blinds are now 800 and 1600. Hey look, we're the only players left. Darwin's probably spinning in his grave. Of all the ham dingers we could buy with that. <sighs> Shh, I'm thinking. Uh, hope this cliff has a parachute. Crab cakes. drawn deader than zombie Picasso. Sam has two pair, and the player has four of a kind. The player wins. If I had a hand like that, it'd look really weird on the end of my dog arm. Congratulations! You have completed your first slate of bounty challenges. At the commencement of the next tournament, you will be given the opportunity to compete for a wondrous treasure. Congratulations on your first tournament victory!
In addition to your significant financial winnings, management would like to reward you with these celebratory inventory tokens. I knew I should have read up on the rules before coming down here. <laughs>